Coming up on tonight's big finale, we have comedian Jack Barrett is on. <laughs> and also actor, director, and producer, and writer, Matilda Brown, also on tonight's show. Yes, you know what? I explained everything my first guest does on the introduction, so I don't need to do it again. Please welcome Matilda Brown, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mwah. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you for having me. No worries. Thanks for being available to be on the show, because I know you are one of the busiest actresses, producers and writers in this country. I don't know about that. No, you are. Even if you get one gig a year. You are oh, the really? busiest I'm, actor. I'm up there. You are the busiest actor in this country. That could be true. Because is there a lot of work out there or not? Um, I think there's, I think there's a lot of actors and a lot of actresses, mm. and more so than there is work. Yeah. So I think that's the main problem. That's the same in the the world of comedy. There are a lot of comics out there, no work. Oh, okay. Which is why you that, are. But... I think I think you're very similar to me. You like to create things and you like to use and channel your own yeah. energies to, I do. to do I don't what like you want to do. I don't like sitting around waiting for the phone to ring to tell me that I've got a job. Yeah, so, that's good. Yeah. And because you do write, you do produce, yes. and you do star yeah. in, in a, lot of, a lot of your own uh, projects, of course. And then I like some of the stuff you put <laughs> online. That's funny. My cray stuff? The cray stuff. That's funny. Because you're, you're a bit schizo there. I am a bit schizo. Yeah. yeah. I, only on, the, only on the, the clips, oh, yeah? Well... I mean, I do write the clips. Oh, so yeah, yeah. But I'm not saying right now. I guess right they, now. they are... No. No. There's only one of me. Just, so they're confused. Sorry, you just scared me because you sort of <laughs> went... Do. You did. You went, no, no. But I don't, you said I don't you did, think they you understand. You said no twice in two different, two different uh, character voices. Okay, so I just yeah. sort of went, you're not yeah. schizo, are you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I, I questioned it myself. Well, that's good then. Now, now you've got me worried. Yeah. No, but, but they're but funny. They're very funny clips. I do it with the intention to be like a little outrageous or yeah. like. But it works and, and they're very funny. So, so you, but, well, where can people uh, look at them? Because as we're talking about it, you're probably thinking, where can I see it? Um, Is it you can uh, do you see have its them own channel? On, well, I just kind of upload them to Facebook, oh, okay. to like my Facebook page, Matilda Brown. That's yeah. good. Matilda or Brown. Or they're Facebook on YouTube page. as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. But they're just called, they're, diff they're like everything cray. So, like, they'll be like Tinder cray or. A man cray about now. Cray is obviously someone. short for cray cray. <laughs> so the first one I did, the first one I did yeah. was called cray cray, and that was just like me talking about how I talk to myself all the time. Like, so it's not short for crazy. Well, yeah, that it is short for crazy. That's what it, I thought. Or long for crazy. Cray cray. Now I'm confused myself. <laughs> no, but it's just that it's just the yeah. it's just the word that people started using. So you do bigger projects, the cray cray things are pretty much a, a one minute. Quick, they're just quick I just grab. do them all myself. Yeah, I just have my of, camera press record, fun. jump in, yeah. and then edit them, and they're done. But your so bigger like, your bigger projects that you do now, you, you've uh, you've started another series, or you've got a series going now, which is utilising the uh, the interweb, the the online the, stuff with Presto. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that is that still going that series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. on Presto. Yeah. yeah. Called. Um, it's called Let's Talk About. Yeah. And it's about a guy and a girl who meet and very early on in their relationship, she gets pregnant. She wants to keep it. He doesn't want to keep it. So this isn't part of your life that you've written about, is no, it? No, this isn't. No. But it happened to my friend, so I stole it from her life oh. and made it into a series. And she happy about that? She was, actually, yeah. Well, her life turned out okay. Yeah. So. Oh, that's good. And her son's my godson, and so it's all. And, and they're only lovely. short episodes as well, though, aren't they? They're not. Um, they yeah, they're like four between four and seven minutes. Y you and I <laughs> were in something together. Really? Which, yeah, you, you wouldn't know it. I mean, you know it because you were there, but you wouldn't know we were in the same thing. Was it underbelly? Underbelly, yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. I I Wikipedia'd you today. Right? Oh, did you? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I wanted because I thought you'd do that to me, and then you'd find something. Oh, I on found me, a lot of stuff. And then about I was you. like, well, I need to find something on you. Yeah. So I found out that you were in underbelly. Yeah. Yeah. I got but cut I don't out. remember. Oh, no, I got, I got most of my stuff got cut out. Oh, I was only in it for a second as well. So. Were you? Yeah, but you 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 like probably had a credit. I did have a credit. Yeah, yeah. When they cut my whole scene out. Do you Nothing. get a credit? No. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. This audience has no f***ing sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. did you feel? Oh, I felt Just shit. Yeah, I felt yeah, yeah I felt really feel good. yeah, damn TV industry. <laughs> but you had the last line. I read that you had the last line in um, in a film. Yeah, in that a was working dog working dog film. film. Yeah, that was uh, probably their most least successful film. <laughs> Seems to be a running theme with you. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anywhere near me. If you're looking to cast me for something, please do. Um, <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I work for nothing. Well, I'm Seriously, I'm doing a second, doing a show. second yeah, series, yeah. so maybe yeah. I will. Yeah, yeah, man. I'll keep you in mind. But, but um, yeah, no, that, that, that was interesting because that was that was a good thing that I didn't have to even audition for. They uh, they called me. Mm, that, that's always that's nice. that's great, isn't it? Yeah. When you get those ones. What was your first acting job you ever had? Can you remember it? Um, were you, yeah, you were, you were was, real, real young? Um, or? I was nine. It was yeah. a, a TV show called um, Twisted Tales oh, yeah. that my dad produced yeah. um, through his company. And um, yeah, I just I, I there was another part that I wanted to audition for. Yeah. And I auditioned for that and didn't get it. Yeah, Some other for your dad. Did. You auditioned for your no, dad and audition. he didn't no, give no. you the he part? Didn't, he was producing, he wasn't directing. Oh, so okay. I auditioned for the director. Cool. But, um, Can we talk about your parents? Sure. Can we talk about your bloodline? Because yeah. you have an interesting... You know what I find interesting is your cousin. Yeah, my cousin. The Earl of Glamorgan. Oh, yeah. Is that true? <laughs> See, people go, it sounds pretty impressive, doesn't it? He's the Earl of Glamorgan. It sounds like yeah. a character from... Harry no, Potter it is interesting actually because my mum does come from a very different side of the, in part of yes. the world than my dad. Because yes. my dad grew up in Bankstown, and my mum grew up in aristocratic England. Yes. And they met on the Thornbirds. The Thornbirds, because and your your mother and father are uh, Rachel Ward and uh, Brian Brown. Yep. So mm. the Thornbirds was a massive, massive mm. success. In, mm -hmm. in I remember that, and uh, I remember my mum having a crush on. Uh, uh, Chamberlain? Richard Chamberlain. Richard Chamberlain. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but uh, that didn't work out for her. <laughs> 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 but no, that, that was a, that was a, another great time. I think in those, that time of television where they were making great great series and yeah, uh, yeah, it was a big. Um, it was it was a big deal. My mum um, <clears throat> didn't really apart, aside from the fact she met my dad on that. She didn't have a great experience from that series. Didn't she? No. No, I just... Has she been it to was Australia just, She was 23 before? and it was a yeah. big, it was a big thing to deal with, I think, at that age. Was she living here? Or was no, she no, no. She was, she was living in New York, I think, at the time. Oh, okay. And, you know, she was a model before that and she, she was auditioning for things and yeah. she'd done something else and then she got that role and, and, and my dad got, you know, some Shearer. I don't, I only saw it like a couple of years ago. I haven't watched time. it. No, I have now. Oh, oh yeah, but, yeah. yeah but, but you didn't... But before yeah. then, I hadn't. Because mm. um, it's weird, you know, like watching your parents yeah. on screen. Did you find it weird watching yourself on screen, though? Is that... Are you comfortable with that? No, I'm fine with that now. Yeah. I mean, you always, like, look at yourself and you're like, ugh, yeah, why that, didn't I do that? that's do that. terrible <laughs> angle, like... Yeah. You know, that's, that's why there's... it's good to have control, isn't it? Then you can go, it uh, is. no, let's change yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant acting, but, like, not so great. Not yeah. so flattering. Well, I'm the same. See, my nose is crooked. I, I shouldn't be on this side. <laughs> I, I should be on that, that side. No, look, see, it's facing that way, my nose. Oh, it is. It, yeah. See, so I should be. <laughs> I should be there. You should be here. This is this is we all wrong. We can swap if you want. I could interview you. Go for it. Really? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> because I'm the. You know what? So. I feel the. Karen. I feel the same as like the, the guests when they come out. They go, "What do I talk about?" Now I don't know. I've spoken about everything I do. Um. Okay. It's lovely to be here. Um, this is a fantastic show. Welcome. Let's all give him a round of applause. Thank you. Yeah. So, um... You don't have anything there? What do? is your... Let's get down to the facts. Yeah. What is your favourite food? <laughs> what sort of f***ing <laughs> show is this? <laughs> no, uh... My, my, you know what my favourite food is? is? Is steak, well done. But a lot of people, oh man, they freak out, don't they? If you ask for a well done steak, some people go crazy, especially yeah. vegetarians. I'm a vegetarian. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, okay, I didn't do my research enough on you about being a vegetarian because we have different lines of questioning. Your first question is your food. That was not even on my list. Your, your... Okay, next question okay. is um, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Ah. <laughs> I was 17, I was very late. How old were you? Mm, I'm asking the questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Does anybody else have any questions, Darren? It's, it's not therapy. It's not like <laughs> we're going to open it up to the audience. Actually, you know, we could. Let, let's, let's take a break. Um, uh, the, the camera's just oh. yeah, the red light. That, that one. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> Welcome back to the Darren Sanders Show. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we're just do, do you want me to going over your notes yeah, here. Yeah, going over my yeah. notes here. Well, what I thought, because you are, uh, uh, you know, when, when you're cast for things uh, as, as a director, yeah. you want to cast people. That's the thing. A lot of actors feel like that. They don't, you know, oh, they're, they're against me or, you know, I'll never get the part. But yeah. you pretty much know when somebody walks in the door, you go, yeah, that's the look, that's everything. And then they open their mouth yeah. and you think, please... Please be the one. So I'm thinking, if you were just to look at me, what sort of character would I happen to be? So, so just out of looks, you, you'd go, ah, you would play this. I feel like you'd be... I feel like you'd be, like, the funny dad guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's so, so, that's so, so lame, but, so, like, so this I'm is looking a, this at you is now a bit going... Of a, this is a bit of a stretch. I feel like you'd yeah. be, like, the supportive dad guy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know? I could be the supportive dad. In what yeah. sort of show? Like, 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 uh, what? Not, not a kid's show, no. <laughs> no. No, I don't think I could do No, a like, with, show. like, a slutty teenage daughter. She's oh, just, like, like a, going off the rails, and I feel like you'd be just this... A slutty teenage daughter going off the rails, and I'd be the one who... Yeah, you right. just, like... The out of your depth dad guy. Okay, all know? right. Okay, so I'll be just... bumbling. Okay, so what I thought we, <laughs> what I thought we might do is we should create a scene then. Okay, We've... if I'm going to okay. be that dad, oh. now I need to find someone oh, who's going to be. Oh, we need to cast. We need to cast. Yeah, we need to cast the, the slutty the, the slutty daughter. Daughter. So. It's not going to be me. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Okay. I'm in control of this. All right. So, so you're now directing. I'm in this seat. So if we're so... going to throw this open though to a to an audience member who would like to be in a scene <laughs> directed, directed, directed by, we need... well, we, well, we could use, should we use our warm-up guy? He can be the slutty daughter. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, where should we play Al? You'll have to come up. Uh, this is Al. Uh, Al, come on up. Um, Hello. I might have to stand up, yeah, so we might have to, hi. Might have hi, to go nice to a wide shot here somewhere. I'm not sure if we need any more lights. <laughs> we're we, we right here. Where should we play the scene out? On... Okay, uh, yeah. let's make it that you, you've yeah. been out late okay. and you're sneaking home, okay. trying not to get caught right. by Dad, who's sitting in the seat waiting for you to oh. come home. <clears throat> okay. Can I enter? Can I yeah. make an entrance? And you've got, like, you've got a glass of milk and a cookie. Okay. <laughs> and, and you're a little bit pissed. Drunk. Nope. Yeah, drunk. Right. <laughs> and and action. So, so I'm the dad who's worried. Yeah. <laughs> <Look. laughs> <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you there. I've been out being a slut. <laughs> And what time do you call this young lady? Milk and cookie time. <laughs> I cannot believe you go out wearing that. <laughs> that, that is far, far too revealing for my liking. Your shirt is open. Your feet are, are so far apart. What the hell have you been doing? Dicks. You've been doing what? Dicks. 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 Dick Smith, you didn't let me finish. I was at Dick Smith trying to find a Father's Day present for you. Well, that's bullshit. Dick Smith is not even open anymore. Thank you. <laughs> you, have got, you have got the role as yes. slutty daughter, oh. but we're going to have to find another father. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you know what? That's funny because I think our time is up. Oh, is it? Okay. 
I appreciate you coming in and, uh, and interviewing me. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Oh, no, thank, Are thank, we done? Thank Matilda Brown, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Thank you. And we will be back after the break with the comedy of Jacques Barrett, everybody. Yes. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to that show. We're going to, we have, like I said, this is the final show, so we are really going out with a bang with one of the funniest guys around, tours all over the world. Put your hands together for Jacques Barrett, everybody. <laughs> Yes, man. Hi, so thank you, thank you, Darren, and thank you, Australia. <laughs> so I'll introduce myself. My name is uh, my name is Jacques. Uh, that is a uh, it's a French name. Uh, just so we're all clear, there's uh, there's no French in my family. That's just a really shit thing to do to a child. <laughs> Growing up in country Queensland, which is where I'm originally from. Yeah, my parents are from the Chappelle Corby School for Naming Children. So I've had to deal with a lot of homophobia because of this name, because people would just hear it and they just come up to me and just go, Bloody Jacques, mate, that's your bloody name. Mate, what are you, gay? It's like, I don't know, Dad, I'm six. This is... <laughs> it's pretty brutal. I was, uh, I was very fat when I was young, and I'm still a tubby bitch, but I was a chunky princess back in the day. <laughs> school was very tough. I was teased every day at school. I was teased for being fat, and I was teased for being poor, and I was teased about my family. You know, it happens to a lot of kids but it genuinely messes with your head if you were homeschooled. <laughs> yeah, gets worse, you guys. I was expelled from my homeschool because I tried to make out with another student. <laughs> Big shout out to our Tasmanian viewers. I uh, grew up in a town called Chinchilla, which is a very isolated part of the world. I was uh, nine years old when I saw my first ever helicopter. This was the first ever helicopter to come to Chinchilla. I didn't even realize Helicopters sounded like they did for nine years of my life. I thought helicopters sounded like this. <laughs> if you don't get that joke, just like flip a couple of channels up. It's probably playing right now. I have this fantasy of going to the country and finding a country girl and I'll bring her back to the city and she won't have all those pesky standards. <laughs> So what I do is when I go to a small town, if I'm doing a show there, that day I'll go into the small town pie shop because that's where the babes work. Yeah, that's where that sweet country honey gets poured. You know what I'm saying? This always happens. I go in, one girl behind the counter, stunning. Just shockingly attractive. In my head, Journey starts playing like, just a small town girl. And in my head, I'm like, I could save you from this. We could take you to the city. We could wash your hair. <laughs> Or at least dye it down to one colour. <laughs> then I get to the front of the counter and I'm about to say the words I'm going to say to the woman I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And then she goes, What kind of pie do you want? I'm like, oof. Because you know when you can hear DNA? <laughs> Thank you. It's not, that it's, it's not that it's bad DNA, it's just too fertile for some reason. <laughs> Bogans are the most fertile people on this planet. I don't know who's running the show up there, but they're, they're drunk. They're, they're drunk at the wheel. It's weird. I saw this actual article. Uh, I was actually, uh, it, was on, it was on a news program, right? This woman, she was born without a womb. That was what the headline said. Woman born without a womb. And I was like, oh, that's pretty sad. And then they interviewed her and she was like, yeah, I was shattered when I found out I couldn't have a kid. Uh, I think Mother Nature got that one right. But I live, in, uh, I live in Sydney, like I said, and it's a bit tough if you make as much money as I don't. <laughs> yeah, ladies in Sydney, they do like a guy who's got money, he's got his shit together, you know, I do that. I'm a gentleman though, I pay at the end of a date, I like to be a gentleman. Uh, the other day I was actually on a date, came time to pay, so I'm at the counter, right, open the wallet, and the woman goes, is that, is that a photo of your wife? And I was like, no, that's a photo of my mother. <laughs> and she goes, do you have a photo of your mother in your wallet? I was like, no, this is her wallet. <laughs> You gotta be sharp, you know, you gotta be sharp with the ladies, they appreciate that. But 
I live in the eastern suburbs of Sydney, which is right near the beaches. So if you don't know this, there's a lot of girls, very trim. Very, some girls get a little too thin for my liking. And they start to have this weird voice. This kind of like, oh my God. <laughs> this weird voice. It sounds like they were raised by dolphins kind of thing. There's really thin girls. And they, they, no one's ever told me you can't lose weight off a skull. So they lose all this weight off their body. And then the head looks a little bit too big on the body. They cover their body in fake tan so you can see them at night. Right? And... <laughs> This happens, you'll be in a bar, one of these girls will waft up behind you, you'll just hear this like, Jesus, that better be a haunted castle door opening behind me. Oh no, it's a carrot flavoured chupa chup. And she's like, yeah. Are you having a good night? Yeah. But I just want you to know right now I don't really want to be speaking to you. Yeah. It's just that the air conditioner blew me over here and I can't get back to my friends. So. Guys. I go to the I, I go to the gym. Like I was 120 kilos when I was 19. Not a lot of that was muscle, but I go to the gym just to keep it in check. <laughs> but there's a lot of big dudes at the gym, like muscled up, kind of. You know those guys? They could sexually assault a truck if they wanted to, and they're always angry. Like they just ate Channing Tatum that morning, and they're like, and they're lifting like, like you can hear how much their dad never hugged them, and. I asked this one guy at the gym, I was like, he was huge, he, he was a tank. And I was like, how big do you want to get? He was like, oh, bro, I just want chicks to look at me and know that I'm strong enough that I can lift them up and f*** them in the air. I was like, so you're in a gym for 20 hours a week for three minutes of f***ing in the air? Seriously? Why don't you just have a burger and f*** on the bed like a normal person? I thought to myself quietly. But this girl's, no, this is one, it's, it is my favorite thing, is when a girl has a normal name, but she changes the way she pronounces it, so she seems unique. This happened one night in Sydney at a gig, this girl down the front, she's like, oh my God. <laughs> totally, totally one of those girls. And you know me, I'm, I'm not a judgmental person, I'm just a very confident profiler. <laughs> and I said, so what's your name? And she goes, Alicia. I went, oh, hi, Alicia. Like, no, it's pronounced Alicia. I was like, oh, like pretentious. I was pretty happy with that just quietly. She was annoyed. She's like, eh, very funny, touche. I went, it's actually pronounced Tausch. <laughs> but all of this, all, of, all of you hear, you hear this a lot. Women like a guy with a sense of humor. And I, honestly, I've been doing the research and that's, that's a load of shit. And in Sydney, I know this. I've done comedy long enough. Like, I think I know how to make a lady laugh. But in Sydney, I think the best way to make a lady laugh is to tell her jokes from behind the wheel of your own yacht. Yeah, yeah. If that was your yacht, you could say anything, and she'd be like, "Oh my God, that's so hilarious!" Holy shit! Look at all the dolphins you just attracted. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Really, that's clean. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Jack Barrett, everybody. Jack. <laughs> all right. Um, Hey, thanks, uh, thanks for being on the final, the final episode. Now, where can, where can people uh, stalk you? Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> literally come to a show. Uh, just, if you want to come, I've got a gig list on my, uh, my website. It's jbcomedy.net, and my Twitter feed is at jbcomedy, and uh, facebook.com forward slash jbcomedy for all my... JB Comedy, remember that. I reckon you could just Google that and find where Jack Barrett is. Yeah. Please thank Jack Barrett one more time. <laughs> thank you, guys. Also, thank you to Matilda Brown. Thank you and good night. <laughs> <laughs>